So today I'm going to be sharing about what I have learned during my coaching uh, business, but actually not what I'm coaching. Someone is coaching me, so I don't have a coaching business just yet, but someone is kind of mentoring me to do that. And I just want to show you guys this text message that I sent my uh, mentor in a way. This was Ben. We were just, you know, uh, getting into it. So as you can see, I said over here, all done. So all done right there, you know, so yeah, so that is basically the message. I'm going to try to focus again. And I just like to share some of the learning lessons I have learned over the past like uh, 10 weeks, really. And I just like to start off with the very first one, which is you have to get the work done. So it doesn't matter what it is. If you are the one who's um, getting into like an online um, coaching space or you want to uh, have a course that you can um, then sell to um, other individuals for them to benefit from what you have to share, you have to put in the work. Your mentor is going to give you all the blueprints and all that stuff. Or, you know, these days you can search on YouTube. But of course, all of that is a bit more, um, it's just a bit everywhere if you were to look on YouTube. But if you were to get a mentor like what I did for myself, the past 10 weeks have been really great. Um, in the first couple of weeks, I recall that uh, my mentor actually did um, lay out like, okay, what exactly was it? Uh, that she will be teaching throughout this uh, whole course and she actually front load the front part of the course with a lot of information which was great because I think that was really needed but then again you have to still put in the work and in reality it is fun it is really fun in the beginning but then it really hits you that oh you know what <laughs> yeah there's actually a lot that needs to be done but I guess that's just one of the main things about it the second thing is that doing it part-time is actually not as easy as you think so i actually do work full-time i'm pretty fortunate i only do like a four-day work week uh sometimes i might pick up like a shift on the um on one of the days so hence that would make me work like five days a week uh, so my usual days off are actually on fridays and then sunday monday so i would say that it's actually pretty good that i'm only working four days a week now that being said though of course um, the other three days of the week, it's not like I have nothing to do. Now, on Mondays, or I would say alternate Mondays, I do volunteer as an optometrist at a uh, homeless healthcare clinic. Fridays are days that usually I would spend with my wife because that's the only day that like is my full day off on a weekday that you know I'm able to really uh, spend time with her. And then also on Sundays, I usually wear, you know, family and friends. So it's actually not as uh, easy as I think in that sense. And also because after work, I do get tired. I do not really have that uh, mental capacity to go on. Sometimes I do, like for instance, when I have a Sunday, Monday off, on Tuesdays, I f still do feel fresh. Wednesday a bit, okay, Thursday, I'm out. Like by Thursday night, I feel that like because the past three days, including the day itself, I have been working. So mentally, I do feel a bit more tired. And I do realize that for me personally, the best time that I have only figured out this routine in the past week that has been amazing for me is actually sleeping early and waking up early. Because when I sleep early, I realize that I am able to wake up much earlier. So I'm literally sleeping at like 7.30, 8 o'clock these days. And waking up at 3.30 or 4 o'clock in the morning, like this morning, I wake up at 4 o'clock. And just to give a bit of context, it's 6.56 a.m. now and I am recording this video. So I do find that in the morning is when I'm really most productive. My wife is um, asleep, you know, and she uh, sleeps in a bit more, though she did wake up today uh, a bit earlier for some reason. Uh, but that's fine. So again, it's just not as easy as you think it is going to be. Uh, so part-time work, you know, trying to do this uh, business, uh, you know, as a entrepreneur just starting up, those are the things that you really have to take into account. Now, next thing is also not knowing the full time frame of when things are going to be. So let me give a bit of context. When I started this uh, journey in a way, I kind of knew how it was going to be like, okay, so I have to start off like thinking of my uh, approach itself, like who I am targeting in a way and then what I want to be teaching in a way. And from there, I would have to look into doing uh, some sort of like a lead magnet, generate 
uh, and email list and all that stuff. I'm only up to the point where I have done up my lead magnet, I've done my landing pages already. So the next step is getting the ads team in for them to run ads for me. Now, running the ads will enable me to build my email list and then from there that's where i would um, nurture or i would be able to provide value to the people that i want to be helping and then eventually get them to buy my online course in a way that if they are going to find it beneficial if they're going to find it useful then it's going to be worth it for them but then again not knowing exactly like okay so once i've done this 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 for instance the lead man right now how long is it going to take before i'm going to uh, maybe do a, a free uh, challenge and then from that challenge then I will talk about the course that I'm going to be having in a way. Honestly, it is my fault in a way because I feel that I should have foreseen that and maybe uh, ask my mentor as to, hey, um, can I just get a bit of a time frame as to how everything is? Because as a mentor, I guess in her opinion, mm -hmm. she would have given me what she thought would be important. But on my part, I would have to ask her what would be important and because I have actually asked her about it already and that's uh, the reason why now I know that it's going to take me about 90 minutes, no not 90 minutes, that would be great if it was 90 minutes but it's 90 days from when I run the ads to generating the email list and then eventually running the um, the challenge I'm going to do and then give a week for the sale of the course and then launching the course itself officially and running it for 12 weeks. So. I am really excited for the whole experience, but these are just some things that if I were to start again, maybe from day one, I would have definitely asked like, hey, what's the kind of like temper that we're looking at at every phase of the whole um, course slash business building process. Next thing, being resourceful. I can't emphasize how important this is. All of us startup entrepreneurs, we start off the same that we want to keep our costs down as low as possible, but we do not want to compromise our brand and all that. So what I actually did was that I do know a bit of designing and I do know how to like design a few things here and there, but I am not good at it. So when I started off like with the landing pages, with all the graphics or what I needed to do, I always do it on my own first, like a very simplistic version of it uh, using Photoshop. That's what I would uh, usually use. And then I would post it. And then again, I'm very fortunate. I have my wife who is um, a really talented um, designer in a way. She does really good graphics and she is the one who's been helping me with my brand. She's the one who's been helping me with designing literally every single thing that I need for the course. and. Without her, this design and uh, branding would have cost me literally thousands, if not at least hundreds, if I try to uh, maybe find somewhere like um, Upwork to maybe outsource the job to. Yeah, so being resourceful is very, very, very important. Uh, I'm also really lucky because like um, uh, I do have a mic, I do have a camera, I do have uh, a laptop. so. And it's all about just finding what is the best way to get a lot of things done, you know. So being resourceful is very, very uh, important. And yeah, shout out and thank you to my wife also. Um, okay, so next thing I would say is about how, and the last thing actually is, there's a bit about opening up about what I've been feeling, which is that it will, it will affect your personal relationship. And I feel that it has definitely affected that for me personally. So for instance, this thing is like 24, almost 24 seven on my mind. I can't stop thinking about the course itself, what I need to do, what I need to focus on, what's next. There is always something running in my mind. When I am with my wife, sometimes it does affect us where, um, for instance, my mind would just like blank out after a while thinking about, hey, what are the things I need to focus on? And sometimes my attention span is not as good as it was before. And I really do feel bad about it. My wife definitely deserves my attention when I am with her and not me, my mind thinking about this course. But sometimes it does happen that way and my mind does flow there. And the other thing also, like when I'm out with friends uh, or at family events and all that, I do find myself wanting to go home earlier, thinking that I will want to get some work done. But then when I'm back home, I'm just tired from all the socializing already. And then I realize that, Hmm, okay, I'm not really getting work done, but I think I need rest now. So that mental, you know, 
the thing on my mind that it's always been kind of like running and running and running as to getting the next thing done, getting the next thing done, getting the next thing done. That really does get to me in a way. And yeah, I do feel that a lot of sacrifices have to be made. I feel like it's just not about being uh, building this uh, online business that I want to do, but uh, just in life in general, if there's something that you want, you always have to sacrifice something else. And you have to decide for yourself if it's going to be worth you sacrificing what it is exactly in a way. Yeah, so those are like the top top uh, five things that I have learned uh, so far 10 weeks in. I'm sure there's more, but those are the main things that have um, uh, that has uh, crossed my mind. If you guys have any questions, you know, please do leave it in the comments down below. If uh, you have benefited from this, I would appreciate it if you would uh, like the video, uh, subscribe if you want to see more, and also um, share it, share it with someone who will uh, or who might benefit from it. So that's it from me today. Uh, I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.